What is going on guys? So welcome to part two uh, of this video. We're continuing our HDB Academy module using the Metasploit framework. So in the part one video, uh, we were doing sessions and jobs. Um, so we actually took care of the first two questions. Uh, so this video, we're going to do this last uh, question. Uh, so we'll jump right in. Go ahead and spawn your target system. And then on your Kali Linux environment, go ahead and boot up MSF console. And then once that gets booted, we can uh, walk through um, the second question because that's going to help us answer the third question. So the third question, it says the target system has an old version of uh, sudo running. Find the relevant exploit and get root access to the target system. And then again, we're trying to find this flag file. Um, so the key thing here um, is we're supposed to get an existing session. Um, and then from that session, we're going to run another exploit um, that has this old version of sudo. Um, and we're going to use the exploit to exploit that vulnerability um, for that old sudo version. So um, like we did before, if you search for EL Finder, um, you're going to find the relevant uh, vulnerabilities for EL Finder. So in the previous video, we did use the third one. So if you go use three... Then we go show options. And then uh, we'll set the hosts to your target system. And then set your local host to your network adapter connected to uh, HTTP Academy here. And then um, in the previous video, we just ran exploit, hit enter. And that gave us the user, which was www-data. Now the third question um, is, all right, well, now we need to get root access. www-data is not enough access. So, um, but we still need to exploit um, using that second or that first exploit that we used. So what we're going to do um, because we still need to get a shell on the target. We're going to do the same thing. Now, instead, we're going to run it as a job. So if you remember from the uh, instructions to run exploit as a background job, uh, you just do exploit-j. So that's what we're going to do. So what this is going to do is it's going to run our exploit, and it's just going to put it in the background. So we'll go ahead and do that. All right. So it says server stopped. Now, if you hit enter, uh, we go back to our um, MSF console command line prompt. Now, to view the sessions that you have running, uh, you can just type in sessions. And then here we go. So ID of one, here is the information, right? So here is that second question we answered, right? So, you know, when we use that set, when we use this exploit, we got the username that was running on that shell. So now we need to elevate to go to root. So how do we do that? Well, we're going to take this session and run another exploit for sudo. All right, so if you remember how to search for an exploit, you can actually do search exploit and the name of the exploit, um, and that will search only uh, for exploits. But if you do search and then just the name, so we'll do sudo, um, that's just going to give you any, everything. Um, if you remember from the previous lessons, there's exploits, there's auxiliaries. Um, now our focus is just you know, exploits. So looking at all these vulnerabilities for sudo, um, you can kind of go through the list here, right? Um, generally, you kind of want to focus on the excellence because you know those will work really well. Um, and then, of course, when you do the search keyword, you can see all the highlights in purple. Um, so if you go through here, um, we have a password bypass. That's for Mac OS. Um, Here's for a Linux environment, um, upgrade shell, so that could be handy. Um, we have um, just this regular sudo commands, and again, uh, so this is, po this is post, um, so it's not a direct uh, exploit. Um, we have this guy here, it's excellent, and it's a sudo heap-based buffer overflow. Um, and then you come down here, um, there's a couple other ones. So um, I'm going to go ahead and use this guy right here. So this is going to be 27. So if we do use 27, 
now we're going to be on this particular exploit. Now if we do show options, um, you'll see that the required variables is a session number. Um, so we know when we did the sessions command, so we do sessions again, we know that we have one, which is ID of one. So let's go ahead and set that. So set session one. And then the local host, again, um, that's not the IP of my um, tunnel adapter, so I'm going to change that. So I'll host a tunnel zero. And then now we have it all set. Let's go ahead and exploit this guy. All right, so it looks like it got a interpreter session opened. So that is very good news for us. And there we go. Now, the key thing um, to check to make sure that it worked, um, you can do get UID. That was the command from the previous lesson. And you can see that we are indeed logged in as root. So we have full root access. Um, so now we've got to find the file, right? And if you remember from the previous video, to search for a file, you can do search dash F. Then I'm going to do star flag.txt. So that's just going to search for anything um, that's flag.txt. And then I'll just narrow it down to that one file that we're looking for. And then you can see it's in the root directory. And then there it is. So what you can do is you can do cat and then root uh, flag.txt. And there you have the answer. Um, so yeah, so uh, one of the key things is um, with the second question, um, run that exploit as a job. And then once that's in the background, uh, go back to MSF console, search for the sudo exploits, um, and then run the sudo baron sam edit, um, which is a sudo heap based buffer overflow. Um, excellent ranking. Um, and then, so once you use that, you set the session number um, that was put in the background, and then you run the exploit again, and you should get the contents of that uh, text file. So I hope you guys found this video uh, very helpful. If you did, uh, please subscribe. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Thank you, and we will talk to you guys later.